I've been asked a number of times to talk about regular expressions. So I'm going to create a series of videos discussing regular expressions and I'll show you where you can use them. Regular expressions are used in many places, including with BGP. You can use them directly with show commands on various operating systems, including Cisco iOS, XR, and others. They can also be used with voice translation rules, as well as with programming languages such as Python. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a very basic regular expression in Python. I'm going to use a NetMeco script to SSH to a switch in my GNS3 topology, and then retrieve some information using regular expressions. If you do a search in Google for regular expressions, you'll find many references, such as this example. I just did a Google search for Cisco regular expressions, and this was the first hit in my case. They talk about various regular expressions, such as a dot or period, if you prefer, which matches any single character. So let's start with that basic one. This is the console to one of the switches in this GNS3 topology, and I'll use the command show run which shows the running config of the switch. But we could use the command show run pipe, and notice we've got various options, including include. If I say include dot, that is any single character. In the Cisco documentation again, matches any single character. So 0, .0, .0 matches 0, x0 0 and 0, 020. 0. T dot dot T matches strings such as test, text, and others. So if I do that, it's basically going to show the entire running configuration. But let's do this S dot. That shows all lines that include S and a single character. So as an example, if we searched for 15 here, I could go one dot. That's all lines that include a one followed by some character. So 1, 6, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1 space, 1, 0, 1 forward slash, these are all 1 forward slash, or 1 space. So any single character. Backslash escapes the meaning of a dot. That makes the router actually search for a dot. So in this example, there's no entries that have one followed by a dot. But what about five followed by a dot? Notice here we've got five dot or five dot. So again, if you don't use a backslash, that's any single character. So one followed by any character. If I say one backslash dot, that escapes the special meaning which basically means it's searching for a dot. So we don't have any of those in the running config, but we do have five dot. Okay, very simple example. Now let's use Python. In this example, I'm using netmeco to SSH to a switch and run the command show version. Have a look at my YouTube Python videos if you're not sure how to use netmeco or join my Python courses which go into more detail. So in this example, I've got the network automation container connected to a GNS3 network, and I've got the regular expression one Python code ready to go. So this is the code that is gonna SSH to a switch, which is switch two in this topology, and use the command show version. So python regex1.py. At the moment, I'm not using a regular expression. So the automation container SSHs to the switch 
and gets the entire show version from the switch. So there's the show version. But if I cat regex2.py, this is a very similar script, but what I've done here is import regular expressions. So showing you that in sublime text, I'm importing regular expressions, or regex if you prefer, into Python. Everything else is the same here, but notice I'm gonna use regular expressions to search for 15, followed by some dots. So in this example, let's only search for a single dot. So the show version from the switch is gonna be stored in output, and we're gonna use a regular expression on output to search for 15, and then store that in regex output, and then print the details of the first group. Don't worry too much about the syntax for the moment. Notice we are essentially getting a show version. We're then searching for 15 followed by something, and then printing that out. So back in Genius 3, I'll edit this regex2.py Python script. And I'll only search for 15 dot. So that'll search for 15 followed by a single character. Again, that's what the script looks like. So Python regex2.py. Previously, we saw the entire running config, but notice we see 15 dot. Now you need to be careful with that. The script is looking for 15 followed by any character, but in this case, it's actually 15 dot, because when you do a show version on a router or switch, notice we see 15 dot. And to prove that, what I'll do is simply add another dot to the search criteria, so 15 dot dot, and I'll run it again. And notice we see 15 dot two, and we can just iterate this or change it and enhance it. So I'll search for a bunch of extra characters. A dot again is a single character. So, Python regex2.py. Notice we see 15.2405. So we're seeing this part of the output. And I'll just add a few more dots here. So basically, Python is searching through the show version command, looking for 15, followed by some characters, and then it's displaying it in the output here. Don't worry too much about this. This is just a warning about something that needs to be updated. So again, run the script again. Rather than seeing the full show version, I'm only seeing the version of operating system. If I run the original script, this will show the entire show version. So notice there's the entire show version retrieved by Python. But if I run the second script, I only see the version of operating system. So back on the switch, that's an example of typing show version, pipe include 15 followed by a few dots. So let's see how many dots we've got to there. Just copy this, paste that in here. So notice, the router output is slightly different. It shows the whole line. So we see that part of the output. So again, if we got rid of the 15 and just did it that way, we would see this line, but we also see other lines. Python in this example is only displaying the first line of text that matches. So first regular expression is a dot, matches any single character, Backslash as mentioned, escapes the special meaning of characters such as a dot, it makes it actually a dot rather than any character. So as an example in our Python script, if I edited this to be 15, 
backslash dot that would look specifically for a 15 followed by a dot rather than any character. That works in this example because we're looking for an actual dot. But notice what happens if I say it must be 15 dot dot. So actually dots. In this case, we get an error because nothing matches, which would be correct because back on the switch, if we searched for 15 dot, that's 15 followed by any character, 15 backslash dot is looking for 15 and only a dot. But if we did that, nothing matches because we don't have 15 dot dot in the show version of the switch. But that would work because that's 15 actual dot followed by any single character. So that would be 15 dot two. So if we edit to this script and say 15 actual dot, then any single character, and we've got a few characters that we're matching here. Run the Python script again, and notice we get the version of operating system. Now in subsequent videos, I'll continue talking about various regular expressions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.